Every disease that's linked to aging has one thing in common. It's the cells inside the body can't get or use oxygen properly. In a low oxygen state known as hypoxia, uh, this is one of the earliest signs of cellular stress and you wouldn't even know it. Uh, it's the moment that your mitochondria begin to struggle. Metabolism and energy production slow down, uh, immune defenses weaken, and ultimately the terrain and the microbiome, they all shift towards inflammation and infection and the growth of unhealthy, unregulated, precancerous types of cells. That's why we love oxygen-based therapies. They're so powerful from exercise with oxygen therapy to hyperbaric oxygen therapy, all the way to ozone therapy that, that delivers gentle oxidative signaling uh, that wake up the sluggish mitochondria so they accept oxygen better. Uh, it's, it's these treatments that restore oxygen flow and balance the body's uh, oxidated versus antioxidative status. Even simple therapies like ozonated oil, sinus insufflation with ozone gas, and especially breathing, breath work, um, will help us to support circulation, clean up and rebalance the terrain, uh, and, and ultimately shift the body from survival into regeneration. So oxygen is not just a gas, it's fuel for your cells. Uh, it tells your cell to make energy, it tells it to kill pathogens, it tells it to repair when it's damaged. Uh, so restoring oxygen is really restoring your vitality. And so therefore, oxygen therapies are absolutely essential for longevity um, because where oxygen goes, resilience is going to be there as well.